Alright guys, so I have a different article for you guys and it's kind of amazing and interesting but at the same time I'm just like, ah, it, it, it really doesn't matter anyway because there's still, you'll, you'll find out what I'm trying to say. Protesters and riot police clash in Honduras. Alright, so remember when they were saying fuera ho, fuera ho in this one video that I, was, that I uploaded and you guys were telling me, what's that, what, what does fuera yo mean or ho mean, is that Spanish? Well, it, it's, it's the name of the president, it's the initials. J O H Juan Orlando Juan Orlando Hernandez. All right, so I'm gonna start reading the article. Anti-government demonstrators in Honduras have clashed with riot police during protests, marking the first anniversary of the inauguration of President Juan Orlando Hernandez. Thousands of people took the streets in the capital Tegucigalpa, Tegucigalpa, and across the country, demanding his resignation. Mr. Hernandez, a conservative pro-U.S. politician who won re-election in 2017 by a narrow margin. The opposition has accused him, accused him of electoral fraud. I honestly do believe he was um, he did electoral fraud because he, just like here in Mexico, they had electoral fraud. I mean, I'm pretty sure in every third country, third world country that no one cares about. Honestly, let's be real. Every third world country that no one cares about, no one gives a dip, you know, shit about. The voting is fraud. I mean, if you have a dictator that has signs of dictatorship, you best believe that they're gonna, there's going to be some electoral fraud, fraud going on. In government everywhere so let's keep going there are people who have been gassed and beaten said the opposition leader and former president Manuel Zelaya like former president so even you made your country a shithole too bro I don't even know why you you're here you know bitching like wasp we have launched a wave of escalating protests that will end in a national strike until his dictatorship falls Mr. Hernandez, who is widely known by his initials JOH has repeatedly denied allegations of irregularities he defeated the popular television presenter Salvador Nazraya by 1.53 percentage points. Mr. Hernandez stood for office after the Supreme Court controversially lifted a constitutional ban on re-election. The opposition contested the electoral process and challenged his victory. By the result, no, but the result was confirmed by the Honduran Electoral Court almost a month after the vote, following a partial recount. Hmm. Mr. Hernandez is one of the president is one of President Trump's closest allies in Latin America. I don't think so. I, I think that's fake. I, I, why would it be his closest allies? I mean, what what is he gonna accomplish? Uh, uh, talking about the, uh, Mr. Hernandez right here. What, what, he hasn't done shit. If you guys think Mexico hasn't done nothing, I mean, <laughs> their country hasn't done nothing. <laughs> During Sunday's protest, Mr. Hernandez was at a Catholic youth meeting ho hosted by Pope Francis in Panama. He met the Pope and asked him to include Honduras in his prayers. Honduras is one of Latin America's poorest countries and one of and has one of the world's highest murder rates. Yeah, that's because their government is corrupt. They don't care about their uh, their people. It's, you know what I mean? Like they really don't care about their people. If they would have cared, they would have tried to help out, maintain a, a sort of workforce or social programs. And who knows? I mean, there probably is, but they suck because they're not doing much. I mean, you see all these people leaving the country. So I'm glad that you know what they're, they're having a. a um, basically anarchy right there i'm glad that they're trying to overthrow this president because he's not doing a good job he could be trump's friend i don't care what you say but he's not doing a good job um if the people get what they want then i hope they get some sat satisfactory in that and in 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 a then future um you know scenario bring back everyone that has left in in this migration caravan process you know what i mean like bring everyone back like oh you know what our country's gonna be good again like like the, um we have we have a future here now you know what i mean but uh, there's like little chance that like 40% that that might happen. So I just wanted to give you guys this article, you know, show you guys what's going on out there, what's going on in Honduras. Check it out. I mean, I don't know, bro. I really, I really don't think this is this is this doesn't have any effect on on the caravan. You know what I mean? I might be wrong though. I might be wrong, but uh, the, the people are just, the people are leaving because it's a shithole country. All right, stay like that. Sin pelos en la lengua, bro. Murder rate, uh, murder rate capital of the world. Nothing else to say. Catch you guys later.